I don't want to be the only quitter. Mmm. Food. Hey guys, Erwan Yusuf here, back with another video. I wanted to start this video very clearly by saying that I'm talking today about a seven day water fast. This is not something that you should take lightly. This is something you should only do if you've experienced with it. Selene and I decided to take over this challenge simply because we've done a bunch of diets before. We've done um, every kind of fast. We've done juice fast, juice cleanses, detoxes, you name it. All that to say that we have experience with it. Um, we both care for our fitness and our health. Uh, greatly, so we came into this challenge ready to take it on. If you have any medical conditions, um, you're pregnant, you're malnourished, you have diabetes, you have liver problems, problems with your organs, or any type of medical condition whatsoever, before you attempt any type of fast, please talk to a doctor um, to get there okay first. The only reason I decided to do this is because in January I've been traveling a lot, I've been eating a lot, uh, I've been drinking a lot, and all this for work, so it was something that I couldn't avoid completely so i just started feeling very sluggish yes i try to work out every day but with the jet lag and the travel it wasn't really efficient so i just wanted to restart a reboot and a reset so what is a water fast well i've gotten <laughs> a lot of questions online when i post about it people asking me a bunch of things when literally it's the simplest thing ever you just drink water Literally just water, no supplements, no tea, no coffee, nothing, just water. For those of you who are asking whether or not it's dangerous, there are people who have done 100 day water fast, 50 day water fast, 30 day water fast, so your body can survive without food. Will it be at its optimum and its most efficient state? Probably not, but that's why I actually like doing short-term fasts because they're actually really beneficial for your body. So basically, over the course of the next seven days, I will be consuming a whopping zero calories and I will be burning a total of 14,000 calories this whole week without ingesting one single calorie. People say that your stomach is basically like the second brain. If something's wrong with it, you really feel it throughout your whole body. It can affect your mood, your hormones, your energy levels. So it's really important that how you care for your mind or you care for your body, you make sure that you concentrate on gut health. I'm sure a lot of doctors would back me up in this. It's so important to have a, a clean and active and very healthy colon, stomach, digestive system. So doing a detox or a fast actually helps cleanse your whole body and especially your digestive system. So why are we doing this? What are the true benefits of water fasting? I'm gonna read off a medical paper now that says, the health of your gastrointestinal I can't even say that. Gastrointestinal system is extremely important to your overall well being. Beneficial bacteria in your digestive system have the capability of affecting your body's vitamin and mineral absorbency. It says it can revive your system functions, purge toxins, use excess fat for energy, it helps boost immunity, can lower the chance of certain diseases, and it helps focus your mind. So, watch this little documentary over the last seven days of how we purely just drank water and how we went through it. It's all about progress. Do we wanna go longer? Can you go longer than seven days? Yes, you actually can. But if you wanna really challenge yourself and really just hit that hard reset, pull the battery off of your body, then go for it and do the seven days. This is not about weight loss, it's more about healing. But yes, your body will turn to its fat storage to eventually produce energy for you to keep going. So you will be into full-blown ketosis and a byproduct of fasting is you will drop some weight. A lot of people will ask what is the minimum amount of water they should be drinking. Well, on the first day and the second day, I drank about two gallons a day. That's about 10 liters per day. Um, and then on the succeeding days, I drank about maybe close to eight liters a day, which is quite a bit. <laughs> So this way you have both a male and female perspective on how this might affect you. So Selene's gonna step on the weighing scale now. Where are we at? 58. Stand here, look at me straight. Any particular place you think you're gonna lose the most weight? I'm gonna lose here and, and then, then here, because this is all water I can tell. My turn. I just came from a trip to Japan and Switzerland. I'm 76 kilos. My proper weight should be 72. So I'm carrying a lot of water. This is when I used to be really fat. I have all these stretch marks. Stretch marks. Lots of stretch marks. Burn. Go. I better be skinny after this week, I swear. <laughs> what are your expectations? I think this time it will be hard for me because it's just water, so there's zero taste. I'll have to keep myself occupied. I'm pretty sure I might get cranky on the fourth day. Um, but I think after 3-4 days, I'm going to see a very big difference when it comes to clothing and 
and love handles. Okay, good luck. All right, here we go. This is day one. Obviously, I'm not hungry yet. Um, it's around 7.30 in the morning. I just woke up and this is day one and I'm kind of <laughs> missing my coffee already, but we can do it. Here we go. I'm about to get ready for work. That's the plan is just to try to get as busy as possible so I don't have to think about not eating. Right, Mongwei? What do you think, buddy? All right, this is gonna be my first workout uh, without eating anything, just water. I'm not feeling too bad. I feel a little tired, but I feel like it's mostly due to my workout yesterday and off Saturday. So, so far, so good. Chest day, man. Chest day? You think I can handle it? <coughs> 12, go champ. One, that's it. Two, yes sir. Three. Ten, come on, push it out. Oh, yes. Rest, rest, as you know, as right now you're start, start the nutrients, carbs, proteins, fat. You're literally running on just H2O. Because of that, your body's not gonna regulate hormones properly. You're gonna struggle to sweat, struggle for energy. So it's all mental, 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 mental. It's up to you to push the weight, try to force your body to use fat for energy. That's what we're trying to do today. Back to you on the weights. Let's do it. Right. My lips are dried from dehydration. Hold on, drink so much water and it's so hard not to eat. And this guy is preparing matambre. Okay, so it's 7 p.m. of day one. <laughs> I really didn't think I'd be having this conversation until day three, but it's actually pretty tough. Like, I've done these fasts before and usually by this time I'm 100% fine. But obviously I'm just taking these five minute rest and then get back to my computer and do some work, but um, definitely tougher than I expected. Bruh, I can't even think right now. Fasting day two. Last night was my first time actually um, sleeping, completely fasted, and I kept waking up with these kind of like hungover style headaches, just it felt very heavy. It wasn't painful or anything, but it was just bothersome because it was quite heavy. Um, and today I feel okay, like it's 9 a.m. heading to work. Um, I feel a little floaty, if that makes sense. Like everything is kind of just a bit more slow. Uh, they usually say the first three days are the worst, so second day, I'm hoping for the best. People in the office helping me with the diet. <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you. We are at the tail end of day two, and work-wise, I was able to concentrate on work, but I feel just extremely dizzy. Um, and I brush my teeth like four times a day just because it gives some flavor in my mouth. So this is day three. Um, I didn't wake up with a massive like headache or hangover this time. My energy level's a bit better, but my sleep last night was absolute shit. I had to wake up every 90 minutes or two hours to just go to the bathroom and pee. Sorry, TMI. Um, today, I'm gonna go to work, obviously, and then Selene and I are gonna try working out. Let's see how that goes. So you can keep going? Yeah, well, it's three more days, we're half, halfway. No, it's more than day four. Yeah, so it's, we're doing six. I oh, know we're doing seven, seven, you're right. We can do six, I think six. You can eat. Six is okay. Well, I gotta be honest, man, you both look like death right now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. Just do one. Nine, four, four, ten, good. Where is that? 148. Alright, so that workout wasn't too bad. Um, the weight was definitely an issue. Um, I really felt like everything was super heavy. Um, but yeah, just to prove that it's actually possible um, to, to work out when you're fasting. This is. The post-workout meal. Day four of the water cleanse and I'm feeling very skinny. <laughs> Everyone, this is Selene minus one point because I am going to have coffee. Mm. 
Nope. About to hit workout number three. So working out on a fast is absolutely your own call. A lot of people say it's good to do moderate exercise. A lot of people say it's better to rest. At the end of the day, would everything I always tell people just to experiment. If you think you can handle it, go for it. If you don't think you can handle it, then just rest. It's totally fine as well. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. So I decided to mentally challenge myself yesterday by shooting food pictures and videos in Pink Panda. Today I went to Robinson's Place Manila to shoot some food at Pom Poms. Uh, so yeah, mental toughness, that's the game. It's the end of day four and I'm not even hungry. I'm just bored of my effing mind and I can't freaking socialize because all my friends are having dinner, going out at night for drinks and everything, and it's just so hard. Should I quit? I cheated with one coffee already. Erwan, can you quit already? I don't want to be the only quitter. Mmm. Food. And just to prove to you guys how long I haven't been eating for, look what happened to my onion that hasn't been used. It grew! Day five. Um, I actually slept really well yesterday. Um, if you look at the stats here for my last previous four days of sleep, it wasn't great because I would get a lot of light sleep um, and my REM would be really low and my deep sleep would be really low. Um, but yesterday I feel like, if you check out these stats here, I feel like it was the first time I actually had some sound sleep. Um, which is pretty good. Um, and I think by day four, day five is when your body really starts adapting to the changes. Energy is really good, so I'm happy about that. And it's just two, four days. That's it. Okay, I'm all set up here. I'm gonna take my blood sample now. There you go. And then I'm gonna place that onto my strip here for reading. All right, so it says 65 mg DL. No idea what that means. Oops, that's funny. So this is day six. Cleanse. I see my ribs coming out. I'm still alive. I am not dehydrated. I am not even hungry. I'm just bored as fuck. So after some research, the 65 mg slash DL um, for your blood glucose is actually pretty low. Uh, I think normal they're saying you should be around 100, 125, is it? I'm not an expert, but it says, yeah, you should be around 100, um, and under 50 is already considered hypoglycemic. Um, I have two more days left, um, so it should be okay. So right now, I think I'm gonna break it, but let's see tonight when I get to dinner. And one, this is it. <laughs> All right, so it's day seven. I realized that I've become really obsessed with food. All I do is check my Instagram feed, check my Facebook, any show I watch. I was watching Vikings yesterday and they were cooking like grilled chicken on the fire and that looked so good. So all I think about now is food. So it's a, it's a balance between mental cravings and actually physical hunger. So I finally get to eat tomorrow and you cannot understand how excited I am. It's day seven. Um, the night's really the toughest because when you're not busy, you're not doing anything, all you do is think about food. Um, so day seven, I'm waiting for Celine to do our weight check-in and take her pictures. Um, and then I get to eat today. So it's all about just keeping busy till 5 p.m. Weigh in, although I cheated. On day five, I had soup at night because I was so boring and anti-social. So basically I stopped day five. <laughs> but I've been intermittent fasting. Is this correct? D6. So you basically dropped two kilos. How, how do you not cheat? I didn't cheat at all. Like coffee? How did you survive? Wait, wait, how much did you lose? So I think I'm at 70 kilos. I just literally drank. I so you lost two how much? Of water. I lost a total of six kilos, I think. What? For 12 pounds. How did you lose six kilos and I lost only pounds. two? Wow. Whoa, check that out, dude, dude, what you call, man? Uh, so first of all, people should know that I've, you have to be experienced for this. You've had to have fasting before. I've done everything, so this was a, a walk in the park. I would do it again if I were in a sanctuary with a lot of friends. Actually, it's nice to do it when a lot of people do it around you. It's kind of hard to do it when you're cooking for your husband at home or when you're 
on set when people are eating or when you're just at home doing nothing because you can't even cook because you need to taste the food. So you're really like a vegetable. The time is finally here. I get to break my fast and look at this beautiful piece of watermelon and this oh, freshly cut coconut. This is what I've been craving for and this is the perfect way to break my fast. Before I did that, I want to kind of just sum up this whole experience for me. Uh, I learned a couple of things. Firstly, I think I finally understand the difference between physical hunger and mental hunger. Mental hunger is due to cravings that are due to withdrawals of things that you're used to eating. Routine in terms of your whole life being told that you need to eat three meals a day and not being able to do that breaks that routine and makes you feel like you're lacking something. And finally, just food as entertainment. You know, we've come to a point in our lives and I work in the restaurant business, so I know this, uh, where food is pleasure, which is great. Um, but sometimes it's great to look at it from another perspective where food is purely, merely just fuel to make your body work. In terms of the physical hunger, when your body starts telling you that it needs nutrients, it needs food to survive, it needs food to do certain tasks. And I started feeling that by just feeling old um, injuries that I used to have, like sport injuries that started coming back with my lower pain. When I didn't do any heavy lifting, but all of a sudden my, heavy, my, lo my lower back was starting to really hurt again. So it's, it's basically your body giving you signs that something is not right and that you should be eating. And I have a, a much greater respect for that physical hunger now. Second thing I learned is that at the end of the day, it's tough. This is probably one of the hardest weeks of my life. I, um, I went to work every day. I did all my and fulfilled all my objectives and tasks that I had to do this week. And it was just that much tougher. And it's just understanding that, you know, that it is tough. It is really hard. It's not supposed to be easy. When you have these tough situations thrown at you, you know, it's all about being able to overcome them and just being and becoming a stronger person. So all in all, it was a great experiment. Um, I don't think I would do a seven day water fast again. Um, I feel like I'd probably do uh, one, like they say it's really healthy to do one fast every week. Uh, so for just for one day. And then moving on from this, because I have certain goals in terms of my fitness, I'm gonna go back to IF, which I haven't done in a year almost. So basically doing intermittent fasting um, and just eating healthy. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and indulge. You know, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. You don't understand. Seven days. Oh, tough. Tough. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy I did it. I'm really happy I did it. I'm going to eat this super slowly because I know I need to get back and get used to it again. But thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here and following this seven day journey. I hope it was interesting to you. Um, I hope you're inspired to not necessarily do a seven day water fast, but try with a one day, two days, and just, you know, all in all, just try to focus more on your health because at the end of the day, it's really in your hands and it's really up to you. Discipline is hard earned, but it's one of the biggest benefits you can get out of anything. It's being disciplined really just transcends throughout your whole life and will help you all throughout your life, uh, both professional and personal. So. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to be getting back into doing uh, food recipes and travel videos very soon, so watch out for that. Peace out.